Hi all, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with an, uh, another amazing SQL scenario based question. Uh, we will discuss this and we, there are a lot of learnings in this question. So please watch till end. And if you support my channel, please do share my videos and subscribe to my channel. So the pro today's problem name is total charges as per billing rate. So there are freelancer who works uh, as per hourly billing, right? Like 20 hours, 20 rupees per hour or 50 rupees per hour, mm -hmm. whatever. Okay, so we have two tables. One is billings and uh, one is hours work. So billing table tell us that for each employee, what is the bill rate? And this this uh, hours work is telling us that what date which employee has worked, and this is the output that for each employee how much has to be paid. Okay. So in in billing table there is a twist. So for such an if you see there is a, this is a bill date. From this bill date we have to charge. He will be charging twenty five rupees, right? But if there is another bill date comes, it means from this date to this date, we have to charge 25 rupees and after this, it will be 30. Okay. So we have to bill as per the latest price available in this table. So any work between this and this date will be 25 and any work after this will be 30. I hope this is clear and for Sevag and Doni, there are no rows, only one one row. So they will be, they will be charging this much amount. Always, if there is another road tomorrow coming, then we have to we have to write query that it will work without changing anything. Okay, so I, I hope question is clear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a date range for each employee. That from this date till this date, this is the 25 rupees, right? So I will create one more column which will tell that till this date we have to charge 25, right? So let me do it. Select charge from billings. Okay, and I will use lead function lead of bill date comma one one lead I am taking over partition by partition by I will do an employee name because for each employee name I, I need an order by bill date ascending as bill date end right now i will run this query and show you what i have done okay so if you see for dhoni there was only one row so next bill date end is null now for Sachin, the first row and the second row if you see for the first row we have got bill end date fifth so we can see from this date to this date we will charge 25 rupees and from this date onwards we will charge how much 30 rupees right now this null is a problem because when i do a date comparison null will create a problem so i will give some high end date so in lead function third parameter you can give as default value if there is no lead value next next row is not there then put default value so i will put some high end date okay iphone 31 let me run this again now so we have got range now and wherever there is null we got high date so any date, any date which is after this will fall in this range always, right? Now there is one more problem if you see the 5th of February is overlapping. So if Sachin has done work on 5th on February, then which one we should take? Ideally this one you should take because this is effective from 5th of February. So this I should subtract one date. So here what I will do in the build date, I will subtract one date, date add. I want to subtract day minus one and build date. And that's it. I run this now. So I have got 4th of February now. Now we have full date range available. If Dhoni is working between these two dates, then this. If Sachin is working between these two dates, then this. And life becomes easy now. So what I am going to do, I will just use his FCT date underscore range as this. Right? select star from date range i will show you data of date range so we will be using this date range table and this table so i will show you data for both the tables okay so if the for the sachin we will see if this date is falling it which which window right and accordingly we will just take the build date that's it so i need to join this dr In a join 
hw i will alias it on so hw dot work date first i need to join on the employee name okay employee name equal to dr dot amp name right and then i will say the work date hw short dot work date should be between dr dot date and dr dot bill underscore date underscore end right now just for understanding i will take all the columns from here and from dr i will just take bill rate right let me run this now okay so if you see for sachin the work which was he he did in 1990 we have 25 right and for sachin again for this we have 30 so we achieved whatever we want now what we have to do we have to multiply these two numbers right and just aggregate it based on employee name so what i am going to do now i will take employee name from here okay and i will do group by here on the same group by okay and just dr dot bill rate into we have to get work hours which is in hourly work table into hw dot bill bill hours so we are multiplying rate with hours right okay and if i run it now i need to sum it also because there are multiple rows for each employee okay so if i run it now we have got 320 and 30 so let me show it that 320 is correct right because see for sachin if you see he has worked in 1990 8 hours right and for 8 hours 25 into 8 25 into 8 plus now In 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 nineteen ninety one he worked for four hours and rate was thirty so which means thirty into four how 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 much it will be it will be three twenty right so this is how we got it three twenty and for seven we got thirty I hope question is clear this is very important concept it is like we are doing SCD type two as I told you so please let me know if you want to understand it. and do like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching